Good morning guys. Welcome to our My Trucking Life. 125 is it now? I'll have to start remembering before I start filming. <laughs> oh dear, I hope you all had a great weekend. Mine was fantastic as usual. It was the in-laws birthday over the weekend. So we popped round and uh, had a bit of a gathering as you do. Apart from that, it was a pretty decent, quiet weekend, you know. Went to watch the boxing over the weekend. Oh my God, what a fight that was. Oh, I can't go down that way. Stupid Google. Um, yeah, what a fantastic boxing match it was on Friday night. Uh, Saturday night, sorry. It's probably one of the best fights and most entertaining fights I've seen in a long, long time. And I don't watch boxing too often. But anyway, you're not here to tell, talk about boxing, are you? Um, we're just going about two miles around the corner to pick up just some metal framework that's got to go from one client to their other base over in Albury. Uh, I've got a lot of subs to shout out later on in today's video. There's, a, there's two that have been waiting patiently for uh, one that I keep forgetting to do. I was too busy on Friday to think about them all. But um, all these considerate people, thanks very much. <clears throat> so yeah, if you recently subscribed to me, let tune in and keep watching. You'll get a shout out later on. I think I gained about three subs just yesterday so it's fantastic news that is I've even had a guy uh, I can't pronounce it without reading it uh, he's an American heavy haulage guy that I follow and he's dropped in my channel on the flat pack flat pack flats video so that's fantastic news seeing someone so popular has viewed my video so, um, yeah, really, really positive news about the channel, guys. It looks like I'm going to be sat here most of the morning waiting to be let out. <laughs> right then, that's today's introduction out the way. <laughs> I'll show you what we're doing later on. All right, well, it's just four, sorry, five stillages I've got. And my timber's on the back. I wish I hadn't brought them with me now. But I've put some uh, strap protectors up across the top. And I've chopped the back one because it's on its own. So that shouldn't be going anywhere. We're just going to take these over to Albury now. Aisha. All right, sorry, that was a bit of a brief description, guys. I, uh... I'm still there, uh, not playing catch up or anything, but I just want to get things done and move on to the next job. It's just a little local job, this one is. I'm eager to find my new loads and check my next uh, product to deliver. Because it's all new to me, this is. And it, I know they only look like simple metal stillages, but it's, it's still a secure load that I've got to sort out. No matter how big or small the delivery is, you still got the responsibility to keep it good. But uh, yeah, I'm just wanted, I just want to say that I'm loving this new role, loving the flatbed work. Uh, you guys in America have known them as skateboards more. I don't, I don't really, or I haven't really heard anyone in England call them skateboards, but I can see the uh, I can see the rele relevance. But um, yeah, every, every time I every time I come into work now, I'm excited for the day, and I'm eager to carry on. So, plus, I don't really like filming in yards too much when I've just loaded. So I just kept it quick and discreet. If I'm on a break, I can give you more time, but you you understand, don't you guys? <coughs> Okay guys, well like I said, 
I've got a few shout outs to mention today. Uh, our other guy is in the warehouse at the moment getting loaded with some 15 metre sections, so he's going to be a short while until I can be unloaded myself. So, got an opportunity to shout you all out. Um, I might be repeating myself, but anyway, let's go. So we've got quite a few new subs to mention. I want to thank every, each and every one of you and welcome you all to the channel. Jonathan Williams, Mr. Cracking, Tim Dat, Battleboy1008, Dardy37, Jerome Clock, and Peter Adams. Hope you enjoy your stay and enjoy my content. Feel free to uh, comment and share whatever you need to do. I've also got a Facebook page you might want to check out. Um, I get the, I occasionally go live on Facebook or I'll post little snippets or highlights from each video and I'll share the videos as well as and when I put them up. So yeah, check me out on Facebook. Um, the American Heavy Haulage YouTuber that I mentioned earlier, he is Nick Mordaunt. Uh, Sorry if I've pronounced it wrong. Nick Mordaunt. And if I remember, I'll put a link to his channel in the description because he has some amazing loads that you really want to go and see. Um, two that stick out. I haven't checked a lot. I haven't checked all of his previous content out. But um, he's recently delivered an aeroplane stabiliser, which is like the tail part of an aeroplane. He's taken that to a football stadium where it's been um, it's been renovated to become a, a structural monument kind of thing, statue. So that was a really interesting video. Go and check that one out. And he also delivered a huge beam, curved beam. It looked like a bit of a bridge or some part of a structure. And basically his trailer wasn't connected to the truck at all uh, basically they had to drop the trailer pull forward at least 15 meters or so I can't give an exact figure and then the, the load and the strapping and the everything else was secured to the trailer and then obviously they ran their airlines and everything along the load and they used the bogey I think it was called attached to the fifth wheel which was where they got the front pivot on and it was a fascinating load and it was really uh, really oh what's the word really interesting for the want of a better word uh, interesting to see how they did it because it didn't it looked really daunting basically seeing the trailer not attached to the front at all and obviously the weight of this girder was probably quite a lot and that held it all in place so yeah go and check out Nick and Mordaunt he's uh, he's gave me a tip about one of my loads that I've had in view in the past so all of his tips are going to be well welcomed to the channel because I'm pretty new to flatbed work uh, I've got experience when I was a child I used to go with my dad and just see it all in action but doing it myself is far different so yes, I'll just repeat that all those guys, thank you very much for subscribing, that your shout outs are done, I can delete your emails. <laughs> and then it's ready for the next bunch of subs because my channel is growing pretty well, I'm really, I'm really pleased with how the channel's going, I've had so many new subs over the past week or two, uh, it's just nice to see my work is so, uh, slowly getting noticed. And my views are going up and comments and interactions really what I do it all for. So yeah, I've got about another half an hour or so until I'm unloaded now. And then it's back to the yard to find out what we've got to do next. So I'll speak to you all later on. Alright guys, well we're all empty now. So just a quick short hop down to the yard now. Find out what we've got to do next. I've... Uh, I had myself a 45 minute break as well, so I've cleared all my working time breaks, I've cleared all my other things, and I'll pick you up later on. 
Well, afternoon. Slight mix up on my part. Uh, I didn't check my phone as I left just now, and uh, it turned out that I there was a change of plan, and I was going to get the second load out of there. So I've gone back. I'm going to pick it up now. Totally my fault. I missed the. I didn't see I'd got a missed call. My bad. But uh, we picked up two more of those stillages like I had on earlier, and they're full of metal metal channel. Uh, just a standard length. They're not as long, long as the trailer, but uh, there's two stillage of those and two of the the hoists that they use to pick them up. So I'm going to take those back to where we started from earlier this morning. So these guys letting me out. Thank you very much. So they are quite heavy. It's my first um, first load carrying channel and metal uh, metal beams. I've done the I've done the metal coil not last week, the week before. Um, when I was a kid, I did move channel before, just off road. And so it's nothing. It's totally different. They were just shunting a trail and left and right, and nothing at all compared to what I'm doing now. So we got um, just a couple of miles to go. They are in the stillages, so that makes things a lot easier. So they're a lot more secure in the stillages. Uh, the load isn't too heavy. Uh, having the having the mechanical hoists makes it a bit more just made it a bit more awkward to strap up but it, all it meant was adding another two or three anyway so it wasn't nothing too daunting you might get a chance to see it in a minute I'm not quite sure but I'll try and get a picture or something at least just so you know what I've been talking about all right so that's basically what I was on about two stillages full of steel and this hoist to go with them so I'll have a short wait now until I can unload looks like he's gonna be coming down any minute well guys it turned out to be my only mission for today was that so I'll come back into the yard drop trailer got everything ready my trucks having an inspection now ready for tomorrow we'll be taking a tour liner up to Wrexham to bring a load back down towards Telford. That's all I know at the moment. So tune into tomorrow's episode and thanks for watching today's. See you later.